Hi, everybody, and welcome to our presentation of Marketing Cloud Package Manager. I'm Thomas Bellio. I'm an architect on Package Manager. And with me today presenting, we have Sam Varga, uh, Principal Engineer, and Rob Everett, Senior Product Manager. Before we get started, our favorite slide, forward-looking statement. Uh, you should make your investment decision based on actual software that's released into production and not the forward statement that we're going to make potentially today. What are we going to cover today uh, in this short presentation? So first, a quick uh, explanation of what is Conceptually Package Manager. And then we're going to go into a specific demo of a partner use case with a click-through of how to use install packages and, and make them, uh, deploy them, uh, release them. Uh, and then we're going to wrap it up with a, a quick overview of our roadmap and uh, uh, other ways to get engaged with Package Manager. So. In its simplest form, Package Manager is an application, a tool, that lets you take a variety of uh, marketing cloud objects, things like journeys, messages, uh, blocks, templates, images, uh, data extension definitions, attribute groups, automations, etc., and uh, package them together into either a zip or a JSON format. And then you can take that package and share it internally, share it uh, uh, through App Exchange, publish it, etc. And then when a consumer deploys that package into their business unit, they essentially get all of that stuff uh, back and deployed in there. And the, the, the subtlety here is it, it, we take care of all of your dependencies as well. So if you were just to select a journey, and that journey has emails, and those emails have images on Akamai, for instance, and then you also have um, um, a data ex extension definition that's needed for that journey to work, by just packaging, packaging that journey, we're going to put everything in the package. And then on a different business unit, we're going to recreate and redeploy all of those things so that, say, journey is ready to run end-to-end uh, -end as you want to use it after deployment. And then I'm going to pass it on to Rob to talk about our use case. Cool. Thanks, Thomas. So we're going to look at this uh, from the perspective of an ISV partner. And you're an ISV partner who uh, maybe does a lot of work with core customers in the financial services industry. And as you are working with those customers, you know that a lot of those customers are moving into the marketing cloud. And you want to follow those customers into marketing cloud and build solutions there. So you want to actually start adding some revenue streams, and you want to build some solutions that include journeys, automations, maybe content assets, including what we're going to show you in building a custom content block for those specific to those financial services customers, data structures, et cetera. So we're going to show you exactly how you build those solutions, how, uh, what you can include in them, and how you share those with your customers. So I'm going to turn it over to Sam to show you what you came here to see. All right, so here we are in Marketing Cloud. Uh, I'm in our ISV uh, organization right now. Uh, I'm going to hit uh, into Journey Builder, um, and we'll see kind of a, a journey we have kind of configured. We think it's in a pretty good state to be able to share it out to our customers. Uh, so here we can see we're doing a, a simple sort of comparison test, a path optimizer against some promotional uh, mortgage uh, email, one of them being a personalized subject line, and one of them not. Uh, and then we'll wait, and then we'll capture whether there are any clicks and update the contacts record in a data extension for either of those emails. And if they don't click, uh, we'll send them a follow-up email for that. So let's look at one of these emails. And you'll notice that we've kind of made it generic enough to be shared across uh, our customers. Um, you'll see some personalizations that they should already have in their account. Um, and then you'll, you'll notice we have these interesting little tags in here, this handlebar syntax that starts with MCPM. And that's actually something specific to Package Manager. So uh, Package Manager will then pick those up and then essentially we'll, we will create customization inputs for the deployer to then configure. So for instance, if we look inside of this custom block that we've also built, uh, we'll see that we, we're calling this their company symbol. And then we'll ask them to provide the company stock symbol. And this, this is basically will be the label during deployment. And we can also reconfigure this a little bit when we get into the packaging flow itself, um, which we will do right now. So we'll head into Package Manager.
and in package manager, which will load. <laughs> there it is. Uh, you can see we've got a couple package definitions. So package definitions are going to be what is included in the ultimate package. So we'll call this journeys plus content. Um, and here, we don't actually need to go through and select all of our different items. Uh, so we could select all of the assets individually and data extensions. But as Thomas mentioned earlier, we actually don't need to do that. So anything referenced in the journey will automatically get packaged by us um, as we do the packaging flow. So right now, package manager is going through traversing the, the journey for any dependencies. It'll find a couple emails. It'll package up the templates that are related to that email, any images referenced in there. And then it'll also package uh, any sort of contact schema, so your attribute groups, your data extensions that then feed into that attribute group. Uh, so this all looks good. We can see we've got our journeys. We've got our emails. We've got the images, data extensions. So I think we're looking pretty good. So we'll move on to the next step where we're, we can then configure these, the customizations we had in those emails. Uh, they're all, all auto-populated, so we don't actually have to go into that right now. Um, so everything looks good here. We'll go ahead and download the package as JSON. So we have two options there. Um, the, the zip is, was, used to be the only option. Um, but with what we'll talk about getting into installed packages, uh, really JSON is, is the only option we have available there. Um, and that'll, that'll make it easier to then distribute to your customers. Pre prior to that functionality, we really only had basically you were, you were passing zip files around, which isn't really great for anyone. Um, so here I am in setup now. Uh, we'll go into our installed package. And we actually have a package, an installed package already created. So the, this is what we can then list on App Exchange. We've got a couple things in here already. Uh, we've got two solution packages, which will be the package manager packages uh, that we've already configured. So we've got our unconfigured journeys, which basically would prompt our deployers to bring their own content or just the content itself in case they're interested in that. And also what's interesting is we have the content block in that same installed package. So they're all bundled up together. They can all be available for your customers together. Um, so right now I'm actually going to upload that JSON file to just a, a GitHub repo I have. Um, oop. didn't give that enough time. Um, really, it, it needs to be a publicly available URL for us to be able to then go out and fetch it during the deployment. Um, so right now, I've just got it going to GitHub, but it, it could be your own servers, uh, some sort of CDN. I mean, you could even do something in Marketing Cloud, like storing it in a cloud page. Um, but now I, I'm, I'm going back and I'm going to add our solution package configuration to this installed package. All right, so we'll call it journeys, journeys plus content, and then that's gonna be the one-stop shop to deploy everything, a fully configured journey. Um, and I'm going to grab the URL here from the GitHub raw source. All right. And that will be the URL we then hit during deployment. So this is looking pretty good. At this point, as the ISV, I would actually go and get this onto AppExchange listed through, through that whole process, security reviews and all, and all of that. Um, but I'm going to skip over that because don't have time for that in a 20-minute session. Um, 
now I'm going to switch over to the actual customer who would then install the install package and then deploy the solution package. So I'm switching over. We're now Cumulus Financial, the customer of both Salesforce and the ISV. Um, and I'll, I'll, I'll go into Package Manager. And then at this point, so the package has been installed from App Exchange. Uh, we're basically, everything is configured. We have our custom block available to us. The one thing we still need to do is actually install our solution package. So it, as I mentioned, we have uh, three solution packages available. We're interested in the full thing. We don't, we don't want to have to deal with getting our own content created or setting up our own journeys. We'll eventually do that. But right now, we're mostly just interested in uh, getting a fully configured journey ready to go out the door quickly. <coughs> so here again, we're seeing the same customization fields that we saw before during packaging. But now we're actually providing the values and pairing this together. Uh, we'll hit the next step, which is basically what this is doing is looking at our, our current account state and seeing what we have available to us. Um, so for instance, I've already created a couple data extensions in here that match the same names as data extensions that were in the package. Uh, we'll just go ahead and reuse those since we know that, that, that we've already got that work done for us. Um, but, but for everything else, we're just going to go ahead and create a new item for it. Uh, so we can see we've got our journeys here, all of the emails, templates, images. Uh, so it looks good. Let's deploy. All right. And so as Thomas mentioned, right now what's going on is we are building everything from the ground up. So deploying all the images, putting those images in the emails, deploying the emails, and then inserting those into the journey in the correct activities. Uh, so pretty soon here, we should see that everything gets deployed. And there we go. Uh, so everything was created. We've got a couple of those data extensions that were reused. Uh, let's take a look at our newly configured journey in an entirely new account. All right, so this looks pretty good. It looks exactly the same as what was going on in the ISV account. So it seems like everything is uh, looking pretty good. Let's take a look at the actual email that we have in here. Um, and we can notice that instead of those pre uh, those pre-filled placeholders, we can actually see we've got our company logo showing up here, uh, our company name, and then what we entered as our stock symbol. Um, all in a matter of minutes, really. Something that would have taken a couple weeks before if you had to actually implement this yourself or partner with your uh, ISV. So. Let me pass it back to Rob. Yeah. So I think that you can see the, the value proposition added by Marketing Cloud Package Manager. I don't know how many of you out there are Marketing Cloud uh, partners um, and maybe have used Package Manager before. So um, good. Glad to see a few fans. Um, but obviously, what we're trying to do here is, is take that value, uh, or I mean, that, that time to value down from, like, like Sam said, weeks to even minutes. Um, and some of the things that we've been working on uh, in the last year, um, first of all, what he was showing with installed packages was actually released in March in between releases. We kind of sneaked that in. Um, and that is towards an eventual goal of getting th things on AppExchange. We are working with the AppExchange team on the security review process. So uh, when we say that that's what, where we're, we're headed, um, that is we're not quite there. But like later this year, we'll be, we'll be looking at uh, putting, putting those packages out on AppExchange. But we've also been shoring up support for version control. So the things that you saw in there in terms of reusing uh, assets, you could actually also update them. So you want to refresh your content as an ISV and, and send that out to your customers. You could actually update things like your uh, DE definitions, uh, your content, your journeys, et cetera. We're also adding in the, in the upcoming release in June uh, the ability to skip items. So some of the things that, that were in there that are being created, maybe they aren't relevant to a particular customer. So instead of creating those things new, you could actually skip those items as you're deploying. 
Uh, we're actually also rounding out support for existing objects. So anything that you see in Journey Builder, like our later mobile activities, WhatsApp, an app line, uh, we'll be shoring those up, um, as well as giving full support for Journey Builder custom activities. So in addition to the custom content block that you saw in Sam's example, you could create a custom Journey Builder activity and deploy all of that together in one installed package. So we're going to be uh, working on support, full support there for looking at dependencies and, and packaging and deploying that. Um, in addition, we know that still a huge amount of our volume of emails are sent outside of Journey Builder. Uh, and a lot of our customers have been asking, hey, how can we package uh, non Journey Builder send definitions within Package Manager? So we're going to be looking into that as well, including the, those dependency items like we showed here. So still including the content, including the data structures. And then our eventual, our, our North Star is building out that solutions ecosystem, right? So like, what we want to see is a larger uh, presence on App Exchange for our cu our customers, and be able to have that one you know uh, one click uh, uh, getting started, so the, the value right out of the gate. And so, as part of that, part of building up uh, that is is going to become part becoming part of the cross-cloud packaging uh, story. So as we talk to other, other clouds that are already packaging their solutions, uh, we'll, we'll be working on becoming a service to those, um, those systems as well so that you could build solutions across sales, service, marketing, uh, commerce, and just deploy all those with one orchestration, orchestration engine. And of course, bring us your ideas. Um, we're here to talk to you all about what is important to you and to your customers. So afterward, of course, we'll be, we'll be standing around and we can hear what ideas you have for Package Manager. So here's some other ways to stay engaged. So one of the ways that we want to encourage uh, uh, boosting that uh, solutions ecosystem is by having hackathons. Uh, we're working through the process there. Again, we kind of have to work through the security process uh, with the App Exchange team, but we're working on hackathons for partners to be able to create um, some kind of uh, predetermined solutions that are, that are of value to a lot of our customers. Uh, we're also looking at doing a partner innovation day. So diving into a lot of what Sam showed you today, but doing more hands-on. So if you're interested in, in signing up for that, we'll be posting some more updates there. And where we are going to be posting that is on our Trailblazer community page. Um, we don't have a whole lot of activity out there yet, but we hope to get some more engagement from our community. But that's Marketing Cloud Package Manager on Trailblazer community. Um, we're actually, well, I also responded to all the um, idea exchange ideas out there. Uh, continue to feed us ideas there. Vote those up. Uh, that's, how we, that's how we hear from you um, as well. So. Um, and as always, like we're here to bring you relevant content. Please take a minute at the end to rate, rate this session on, on your uh, Trailblazer DX app. Uh, tell us what we're doing and what we're doing well and what we can improve on, because this, this is all for you guys. So thank you for your time today. And come see us. We'll, uh, Sam and Thomas can answer technical questions. I can talk to you about Roadmap. Thanks. Thanks.